everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is day nine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Today is day nine of 25 days of Christmas. Ooh, we'll see if I can keep all this straight by the end of these 25 days. Tell you what. <clears throat> I am actually a day behind. Um, last Sunday, my cell service was not cooperating and I did not get <sighs> the video uploaded on Sunday. So I'm actually a day behind. So one of these days I will have to post two videos so that I can get caught up. But so as of right now, it is the 10th of December, but this will be the night. This is the video for the 9th of December because I am a day behind. So sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> if you care, you probably don't. But anyway, I do. <laughs> and if I survive uploading a video every single day for 25 days, oh my gosh, I should get an award and I, I, I don't know, maybe a vacation, not sure. But anyway, uh, today we are going to the most wonderful place, particularly this time of year. Do you know where we're going? We're going to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Yes, it becomes a winter wonderland. If you've never been to Hobby Lobby, what are you doing? <laughs> but around Christmas time, it is, there's just so much Christmas stuff. And everything is on sale. Everything is 50% on sale, which I kind of wonder, um, is it really a sale? Because I feel like Hobby Lobby is always like, oh, this section is 50% off. Oh, this section is 50% off. I just feel like the prices are probably just a little bit higher than they have to be. And then they're like, 50% off. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> it's neither here nor there. Um, so, but without further ado, let's take a trip to Hobby Lobby, shall we? And we made it to Hobby Lobby. So excited. Literally everything is 50% off. As soon as you walk in, it's just Christmas exploded all over the foyer. Oh my God. <laughs> This was an adorable cup right off the bat. And this soap. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's adorable. So cute. I immediately went looking for pigs. Not really Christmas related. However, that's just, they always have the cutest pigs. And this was not an exception. Oh my gosh. I didn't buy any, <laughs> any of the non-Christmas pigs, but so cute. Oh, I wanted this painting, but I already have a pig painting. I don't have anywhere to put. And this guy might be one of the most adorable things I've ever seen in my life. Christmas stuff though. 50% off. So much Christmas stuff. I was literally overwhelmed. <laughs> so much Christmas stuff. Uh, these cookie cutters were so cute. I almost got these sprinkles, but I don't know. I think we have sprinkles, so I didn't get them. Ugh, just so much stuff. Bows, bows, bows. Any bow you could possibly want. I saw these. Oh, these snow globes were so cute. I just don't really have any place to put them, but they're so adorable. I was overwhelmed by Christmas balls. So many balls. <laughs> I It was very difficult to decide which ones I wanted. They were all so beautiful. And they were glass. I knew I would find glass ones here at Hobby Lobby. And they're, oh my gosh, so pretty and so many. And it's just, just too many, too many to choose from. Oh my goodness. This was really cute. Once again, I just don't really have anywhere to put the snow globe, but beautiful. Oh my God, there was more. Oh, so many. Oh my goodness. Too many, too many. Oh, this little horse trailer. I'd never seen, I've seen the red trucks, but I had not seen the little red horse trailer. So cute. I wonder if it can hook onto one of these trucks. <laughs> this little bicycle was also adorable. I've never seen that before either. That's so cute. I saw these trees and was like, I think I could, I could make that. I think I really could. <laughs> I don't know if I will. But it's super cute. They had a bunch of stars, um, but I, I still didn't... Nothing there was really calling my name. I just wasn't impressed by the star collection. Um, it just... I don't know. One of these days I will find the star that really speaks to me and I just haven't found it yet. Now, this one was pretty cute. It lit up and it was very classic Christmas to me. But still, we just got a star, so... These were calling my name. I don't know why. I just loved them. So many of these. These were so pretty. I wish they had these in glass. I think that they are the most darling things. Every one of these, but they're all plastic. One of these days I'll do an outdoor tree. I really liked these lampposts. I don't know why. I just really liked them. I'm sure that they were expensive and I did not get it. 
Okay, here we are. 50% off all the Christmas ornaments. This was so cute. I was trying to turn it on, but it turned out I needed to pull the little plastic tab after buying. So it didn't work for me, but it looked like it would be really, really cute. <laughs> I considered this because my husband has a Swiss Army knife. He really likes it, but I don't know. It's too cheesy for my treat. I'm very classic. I love this puppy dog. I love it. I love it. I love it, but I don't have a dog that looks like this. Ramen noodles. I thought of my brother-in-law. <laughs> he eats tons of ramen noodles. I almost got this for my pig tree. Would that be too wrong? Would it be wrong to put bacon on my pig tree? Oh, but I did find this pig ornament that I do not have yet. So cute. And this little angel oh, looks like a precious moment. So pretty. I almost bought this grill again for my brother-in-law, but it's just too cheesy for my tree. I even put it in the basket. I put it in the basket, thought for a second and took it out. These soaps, I don't know if they smell good. I don't know what the quality of these soaps are, but every year they put them out and they are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I really like these um I don't know what you would even call it, but it's like the baked goods. <laughs> it's like the gingerbread house, you know, aesthetic. And it is adorable. And I would love to get these houses. Oh, my God. I, I want to throw up. <laughs> so many stuffies. And this aisle, I also want to throw up. Why? So much Grinch. I No, thank you. Oh, my God. Too much. Too much Grinch. I can't take it. <laughs> I know that it's popular, but oh, my God. These advent calendars are a works of art. They're beautiful. I don't do advent. Maybe one of these days I will. I wanted this. This was so pretty. I don't know how much it was, but it was half off. So it, it's a deal no matter what. I kind of wish I had bought it. It's so pretty. I really wish I would have bought it. Ah, yes. Finally found the tree of styrofoam I have been looking for. And we got our loot and home word bound. All right. Now that we got the shopping out of the way, <laughs> I was very um, overwhelmed by the end. There's just so much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. I was very overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, but I did end up buying a few things. So let's see what we got. So I did end up getting some balls, <laughs> some Christmas balls, um, because like they had so many and they were glass and it was like, I have to get some. They're so pretty. Um, so I ended up getting these ones. Oh my God. Are they not spectacular? They're so pretty. Oh my goodness. I am not going to take these out of the box because I want, uh, I don't want to accidentally break them. <laughs> Me and my husband will hang these up when he gets home tonight. Aren't they gorgeous though? It was kind of a difficult decision. There were so many pretty ones, but I mean, I don't care so much for these. Like these are just plain red balls, like whatever. These ones are pretty though, but these, oh my God, so pretty in their glass. Uh, and they were, they were $19.99. Um, and so they were half off. So they're 10 bucks, 10 bucks. So that's, uh, how many are there? <laughs> Two, four, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. I don't know. There was like a, like a little over a dollar a piece, I think, something like that. So that's pretty dang good. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. They're so cute. I really like these. So pretty! And I got this. You guys do not understand how happy I am to have this. So last year, I wanted to do the basic white girl thing and make one of those charcuter charcuterie trees. But I could not find one tall. All the ones that like Walmart or anything had around were like this tall. What are you going to do with that? So I saw that. I was like, yes, I can make myself a charcuterie tree this year. And I will probably film that for you guys. So that might be like Christmas Eve video or something. I don't know. But um, I'm so excited to have this, this piece of styrofoam. And I will keep this for generations to come so that I can make a charcuterie tree every year because we, well not me, but my family, my new family, my husband's family, are Italian. So you have to have charcuterie, char, 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 I'm not Italian, all right. And I also got, you're probably not surprised, <laughs> but I got this guy. Oh my God, is he not adorable? Oh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, I think it's glass. Maybe. I'm not sure if it's glass or not, but I think it's glass. But isn't it adorable? It's going on my piggy tree. Oh my gosh. 
so stinking cute. So cute. <laughs> uh, I I looked through that entire wall of Christmas decorations. And nothing was just nothing was really popping out at me, but this guy. He was. He's so cute. <laughs> I realized quite a few of my decorations, which I didn't realize, came from Hobby Lobby. I didn't remember that. But anyway, I got this guy for my piggy tree. So excited. I got this, which I'm actually super excited about. <laughs> It, it's a container to put all of our glass balls in. I ended up, I had to throw away all of our, the boxes. We were storing all of our ornaments in just the boxes that they came in, but the mice, the mice got into all of our Christmas ornaments and just made the boxes nasty. Um, so I got this and this will hold, uh, 27 ornaments. I'm pretty sure that I have more than 27 balls, especially now that I got that box that has all those balls in it. Um, so I might have to get another one, but I'm pretty excited about this. I know this is for after Christmas, but you know, I'm still pretty excited. This was $14.99, so it was half off, which means that it was $7.50 or something like that. So pretty happy with that. I saw these. I, I don't know why I was just drawn to them. They're so pretty. Let me take one out. Probably going to be glitter everywhere. But I spotted these. And my husband has been pointing at, at bells everywhere we go. And being like, oh, we should get bells. And I'm like, no. No. No bell. <laughs> but <laughs> I saw these bells and thought, oh, my goodness. So cute. And they say peace on them. And Noel. And joy. And they're so pretty. I just really like them. Oh, and they, do they? They do. Oh, I don't know why I was just drawn to these little sparkly bells, but they're so pretty. I really like them. So those will also be going on our tree when my husband gets them. Well, that was everything that I actually got. I was severely overwhelmed <laughs> at Hobby Lobby. They just have so much stuff. Um, but um, I only buy stuff when it really speaks to me. It just pops out and says, hey, you need me. And I usually know right away when I when I need something. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy shopping with me. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you really liked it, please subscribe. And um, tune in tomorrow for day 10 of 25 Days of Christmas. Bye.